When you start rapping like that, hit this area with 51. So all y'all don't even know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. If I drop you, I'll be on Fox News with Vada and Showtime. He got smoked. It's your man Vada Fly on Fox 5. Got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. And we have a special guest in the building today. Very esteemed, 83 million views. Mm. The Gun Bar King. Mm. Yeah. One of the leading battle rappers in the culture. None other than the legend, Tay yeah. Rock. What up? What up? What's the vibes? Vada, thank you for having me. You know the vibes. We go listen, back. Listen, listen, Rock, let me tell you something. Yeah. They might not know what's going on right now, but you see the, the way that this hat is sitting? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. When this hat sit this far to the back, uh -huh. just be prepared to get barred <laughs> That's a, That's what I do. Death. Yeah, right, right, right. My God, right. Rock, man, we, I, I've been a it's big love. fan for a very long time, man. So listen, but for the people that don't know, tell us, what, what is it that you do that makes you, uh, that brings you to this, this platform? Uh, well, I, I battle rap, you know, I'm the... Face a URL, mm -hmm. Dracula, some mm -hmm. call me, some call me the Gunball King, but mm -hmm. Tay Rock, mm -hmm. you know, Gunballs is what I get into, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So you've been battling for quite some time now, you know what I'm saying? You have 53 catalog Ultimate Rap League battles. I gotta ask you, man, uh, we're, at this age, you know, we, we're veterans now. Yeah. What keeps you inspired and motivated to keep battling at such a high level? Uh, besides just being competitive, just and hungry still, just you know, not wanting to lose my my spot here. I'm not joking. It's always new newer talent trying to come for the throne. Mm -hmm. huh. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to stay in the field and stay sharp with them. That's the only thing that keeps me going. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I got I feel like if I was to sit back and and not do nothing, it would make me less hungry so right yeah. I, I stay in the field with the with the newer guys and try to you know learn things from them yeah. mm -hmm. i mean that's what kind of makes you dangerous so you know as you just said you know you the gun bar king the gun bar king right while i better than fried chicken not kidding rock tripping i will let a glock hit him man the can come from under the shirt like i'm shoplifting i will that's life when did you decide to make that your main point, like you wanted to just do gun bars? Because when they talk about gun bars, they name you as the king. When did you know you wanted to be the king of that? Uh, it was a thing, like, just battlers was complaining about it. Like, everybody was giving me, like, earlier in my career, like, people was giving me wins, and battlers was complaining, like, that's all I talk about. Like, that's all I do. Mm -hmm. And, um... You know, I, in my mind, it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type. Yeah. You know, if I'm if that's how I'm winning, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. So I just kind of ran with it since everybody was like complaining about it. Like that was a thing that like I created, mm -hmm. like gun bar king. Yeah. Like since everybody's like, yo, that's all you do is gun bars. Mm -hmm. I'll be that. Right. I'll mm -hmm. be the gun bar king. And as the face of battle rap, you know, like I said, you've been here for years and years, easily 2015, 16 to win. Battle rap wasn't even at the levels that it's at now, but I want to talk to you about a specific battle you had. You had a battle with Pat Stay. Right. right. Rest in peace, um, Pat Stay. You know, and uh, what sure. was your memories and how do you remember that battle? Because, you know, now that I look back at it, it's like a pivotal moment in both of you guys' careers and rest in peace, Pat Stay. Right. Uh... That was probably like one of the best moments of my battle career. Uh, first time out of the country, mm -hmm. in London. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing event. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the biggest crowd reactions I've got mm -hmm. in my career out there. Uh, London, they just, they react to battle rap differently than people in America that's just used to it. And right. uh, they ain't used to seeing us, so. The reactions, the love out there, everything was different. Uh, my first, that was my first time actually, like being around Pat Stay. The vibes he gave off was cool. He was a cool person, very humble. Um, that's all I remember. Right, you know right. What I'm saying so, that was probably like what five, six years ago. Right. Yeah. So here's a follow up. So you know, you're known for having huge moments, seatbelt line. Mm. You know what I mean? If I don't knock you out when we knuckle up, then. <laughs> The razor come out. When I swing it, you get your uppercut. I grab you by your neck, you get another cut and another cut. It look like the seatbelt won't work in time. Buckle up. Boy. 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 Ill will, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You ain't getting your ass. Other half. 
have, oh. son. You know what yeah, I mean? Mm-hmm. You have. If you had to name your the biggest moment, I mean, I have it in my mind, but mm. what do you think if you had to choose just one? I know it's difficult, but nah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it's kind of easy for me, you know. Uh, body chick. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That, that's your favorite that one? Super... That, that's probably like one of my most viral moments. Yeah, right, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like as far as like on TikTok. Yeah. You Everywhere. know, people like, uh, I don't know the chick that put it in her song. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, stuff like that, I just feel like I went super viral off of the, the mm-hmm. jokes. And mm-hmm. that was my first time stepping outside of gun bars. Right, you know? right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that was probably like the biggest time I went viral doing jokes and uh yeah man that's crazy that is one of them accolades that uh that's random to see that you was being funny so right, like right. as far as being uh, uh the gun bar king or as far as being the the person you, you don't really know like people don't understand how dangerous that second round rock is yeah speaking of rocks uh they talk about mount rushmore right mm. they they claim that that you know if you're not on that top of the mount rushmore list the people that has been or is claimed to be on that Mount Rushmore list, you've already battled. Right. So for me, for sure. what do you think is there left for you to kind of put you or solidify your spot on R- Mount Rushmore if you don't have it already? Like, it, what is still out there for you to be like, yeah, that's the end game? Uh, I, I, I honestly feel like I beat the game. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, I feel like I beat it already. Like, just doing side missions. Side missions. <laughs> G- G- Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Like, right, right, right. extra money at the end. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just, I feel like I beat it already. Like, I've done seen the 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 best competition. I've done seen the worst. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I've done been a part of the some of the best moments in battle rap history. I've been a part of some of the best crews in battle rap history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I built some of the best crews in battle rap history. I've done helped a lot of people's careers in battle rap. Mm. Like, so uh, like I don't, I don't really. I feel like if I'm not in on nobody's Mount Rushmore, that's blasphemy. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Free to wave too. Free to wave. Way. Speaking of free to wave, uh, Sue Surf. I'll break the family up like a stepmom. Judge said I can't get champion another night. Why is that? It's like 15 bodies on this tech nine. Oh. Yes. Uh, was one of the uh, quote unquote highest paid battle rappers, right? Yes. So for sure. to not get in any pockets because of the fact that Surf also came out very rarely, very randomly. You know what I mean? It was like, it was sporadic when he was coming out. How, do, how does it feel for somebody who's pretty much on most of the cards? What would you say to those, like, are, are, is it a situation where you're not ducking smoke or is it just the opportunities are presenting itself for you and you're just gonna take it? Or are you more patient, like I'll wait for the bag? Is it the bag or the battle that matters for you? Um, I mean, it was a point in time where it was the, the battle in the bag that mattered mm. like you know what i'm saying like at this point like i said i feel like i done beat the game so now it's like for since last year in my mind i'm like all right now i'm about to start giving opportunities to the people that wouldn't who wouldn't even expect me to battle right like, mm-hmm. i'm showing up on the lower leagues like not lower leagues but the leagues that's not as big as the league that we in mm-hmm. like url i battle i'm about to show up on mm-hmm. next month mm-hmm. you get what right, i'm saying right. a battle academy <laughs> bullpen gate right. to the gun and yeah. those type leagues. I'm outside for them, so. Well, we appreciate having you here. You know what I'm saying? I right. appreciate the company. Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate you run yeah, with you me. You know it's always love. It's always love. I appreciate the company. Got the gun bar to run with me, and the gun is the only thing you know that gets it. the job done. done for me. Shout out. We out. Uh. So all y'all really know what happened. I'll listen to what happened. If I drop you, I'll be on Fox News with Vada and Showtime. He got smoked.